Some are calling it an ecological disaster at Lake Tahoe, an explosion of algae along the shoreline this summer, some of it toxic. And researchers say smoke from the wildfires is likely to blame. Thanks for staying with us here at 530. I'm Adrienne Moore. And I'm Curtis Meng. CBS 13's Brady Howblive is getting answers on how it's impacting the health of the lake and what scientists are now doing about it. Here at Reagan Beach, this is just one of the examples of where this green algae is popping up. You can see a sign warning about it, and you can also see it here on the rocks. And what I'm told is that the smoke from the mosquito fire is just going to make matters worse. Like it cleared up a uh, day before yesterday. The Tahoe skies are blue today, only with a thin layer of haze off into the distance. A stark contrast from what it's been like here for the past week. All the beautiful mountains, the water, you, you couldn't see the mountains at all. In addition to the unhealthy air quality, researchers believe the wildfire smoke is also contributing to an unhealthy level in blue green algae. Based on what we saw last year, we're expecting this blue green algae, it's called a leptolimbia, uh, to come back. Tahoe environmental researcher and UC Davis professor Jeff Schlatto was among those studying the algae and ways to get rid of it. Last year, Tahoe saw its largest increase in blooms directly following the Caldor fire. But the fact that it occurred at all, uh, we think, is directly due to the Caldor fire. Schlato is now leading a team of researchers working to scoop up the algae off the lake and vacuuming it up off the shores. It can be toxic and kill off some of the beneficial algae, which helps keep Tahoe's water blue. In a way, they have the potential to start disrupting uh, the whole the whole food web. Researchers say it's hard to tell how much the smoke from the mosquito fire will impact the algae levels, but you can't expect to see more of this next summer. Brady, thank you.